everybody. Thank you for joining us again for our in-flight shorts here live at Gen Con. As you can see, we're still doing stuff. We've got some Marvel champions, people playing Mutant Genesis behind us. It's been very exciting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You might even see Caleb running around back there a little bit, which is super cool. But yeah, we're, again, super excited to be here with you guys. Uh, just a little update from yesterday. We're down to the top 24 for our Twilight Imperium tournament, which is pretty <laughs> darn pretty awesome. exciting. Um, I, I love Twilight Imperium, but three days in a row, that's like running a 25 hour live stream and you gotta be crazy to do something like that. It's a like lot that. of TI. Right? It's almost like you did that exact thing. Right, exactly. But yeah, so we're super excited about it. But as you can see, I'm here with Chris again. So we can get a lot more information out of Chris than you can from me, clearly. So we're gonna talk to Chris a little bit today about some of our IPs. We're gonna talk a little bit about Descent to start. Then we're gonna jump into the Arkham Horror Living Card Game. And then after we're done with that, Chris is gonna leave us for a little bit and Maxine is gonna come and join us to talk a little bit about- That's where the real Arkham expertise again. lies, so. Mm, <laughs> don't let him fool you. <laughs> So, like I said, we're gonna start with Descent today. Okay. So, it is officially today is the one year anniversary yeah. of Descent Legends of the Dark. Yeah, yeah, it's the it's the one year anniversary. We released Descent pretty much a year ago today, almost. And uh, it is, uh, we couldn't be happier. We could not be more pleased with the fan reception, uh, how well the game has performed and seeing people playing it, um, the, the comments we've gotten, people stopping us and talking about the game. Um, it's, it's super exciting, so. Um, and now is actually the, uh, if you haven't actually played it yet, if you're someone who hasn't gone out and or has been on the fence, uh, now is the time to really get in and uh, dive into the uh, act one because we are hard at work in uh, finishing up and kind of working through the uh, act two box, which has, again, I think I teased that, uh, that, that yeah. really <laughs> giant, that giant piece of uh, plastic that's, right. I think I had it hidden It's still last considered year. a miniature, but it is far from miniature. It is pretty much the largest <laughs> miniature we've ever, we've ever made mm -hmm. in one of our products. Absolutely. So, um, so it's super exciting. Um, but if so, if you haven't actually started yet, now is the time to dive in. Um, the, uh, the, yeah, I mean, I guess. Well, at, I yeah, mean, we're talking right. about Act 1. So, <laughs> Act 1 is right here right, on the t-shirt. Right. We have a bunch of our staff wearing this Act 1 t-shirt. It's a happy birthday but, shirt. But, speaking of Act 2, <sighs> on the back of our shirts, we have teasing the Act 2 cover art, which is super, super awesome. We're going to pop up on the screen in a minute uh, a different version that can show off that artwork. But that features, obviously, that's uh, an image of Wycar on the back there. And so, um, as you can imagine, he'll play a pretty big role in uh, the second act. So it's going to be really exciting. Nice. So. And I do have to say, I I felt a little too, I don't know, scrawny when you had to like stretch out my shirt for me. <laughs> Clearly need to work out some more, geez. <laughs> Fill out my shirts a little better. Yeah. <laughs> cool, so we've got Act Two coming. Yeah, Act Two is coming and uh, you know, and it's, it's full of awesome, amazing uh, Descent content. Picking up the story right where Act One leaves off uh, on uh -huh. that kind of, on that cliffhanger. Yeah, I won't say it, I won't say anything. <laughs> But there's an awesome cliffhanger at the end of Act One. It's Act Two picks up right where that leaves off. So perfect. So now is the time, like you said, to either start Act One or get your gaming group together. You know who I'm talking to to finish it. <laughs> and half of it's been my fault because I'm traveling to Gen Con and stuff. But that's yes. just an excuse. You've had a year. I, hey, no, I no, have no, there's no excuses. <laughs> there's not. A, there's never a bad time to either start playing right. or finish playing. Absolutely. So, yeah, so yeah. we'll finish it up. But. We also talked about something last year that we want to bring up. Ghosts of so Greyhaven. So Ghosts of Greyhaven, yep, yes. exactly. Yep. So you mentioned it last year. Can you yes. give us an update on that? Yeah, so Ghosts of Greyhaven uh, is a side story. It's not part of the main act 
structure of the main storyline of the game. And, uh, and I did talk about it, I teased it last year. We're still working on that product, but we have prioritized Act 2. So there's just a little bit of a reorganization where we are going to still release the Ghost of Greyhaven product, but in order to make sure Act, Act 2 could be as strong as possible, come out as soon as possible, and continue that main storyline that, you know, that you are dedicated to, uh, we just kind of reshuffled it. So it'll now come out after Act 2. Okay, so, yeah. and like you said, it can be played at any time. It's a side it story. It can be played at any time. Right? It's a side story. It's not something that you will, you know, it is a it's a really awesome side story. Oh, of course. But it just takes those characters on kind of a divergent story path that um, can be played at any time. So, okay, yep. wonderful. So yep. focusing on the main story is what's really important. Exactly. We want to make sure that we can get that story out with no delays and no, um, and, and make sure that it can get in everybody's hands as soon as possible. And that awesome new plastic and everything that comes right. with it. So. And the beautiful art, which this shirt does not do the yeah. color pop justice. Yeah. Just wait for the video. Yeah. It's spectacular. It's be awesome. Nice. Cool. So that's what we have for Descent today. But now we're going to talk about Arkham Horror, the living card game. Arkham Horror, the living card game. So, One of my favorites, my absolute favorite game that we make, probably. And you're not just saying that because Maxine is standing right there, right? I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all because of that reason. It is It is one of my favorites, so nice. absolutely. So we've got Scarlet Keys coming. Yep, super, super excited for the, it's pretty much the largest uh, campaign that we've probably ever made for Arkham, all in that new two-box format, which is uh, which is super super awesome and uh, really a globe-trotting um, adventure for the for, for probably the first time, where taking you all over the globe. Um, it's really really exciting. Um, but we also have we're hard at work as well on. Um, that's not all the Arkham Horror that we're working on. Right. We are uh, working on multiple campaigns into the future, so we still have a long life for this amazing game. Um, it is one of the most popular games we've made. We, uh, we can't believe how much uh, appreciate all the fan reception we get, all the, all the dedicated groups out there that do all the hard work making, like um, those amazing kind of... Uh, just just their dedication and their love for this game. And so we try to pour all of our passion into it of course. Um, and really dedicate everything we can. So, But we're hard at work at multiple uh, additional campaigns coming up, additional products, and so there's a lot of exciting stuff coming. So, Sweet. Yeah. So you mentioned something just a moment ago. Yeah. About globetrotting adventure? I did. So, so I, I uh, would we, like to have the pleasure, if I could, of showing you guys for the first time, everybody, um, one of the cool components. So as you know, because of the nature of the big box expansion, uh, everything you get all at once. First off, we can put things into that expansion that are different than just the cards and the rules. Right. We can actually put other components into the box uh, like this. And uh, what is this, you might ask? Right. Well, and just a heads up to everybody. Secret, so this is not That's Chris end. going rogue oh. again. That actually says top secret in the box. This isn't just for today. <laughs> yeah, this is what the component, this is, uh, to be clear, this is a, uh, 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 a printout that I made. Of this is not the final component, but this is representative of what the component will, will be when it's in the box and you receive it. Um, but this is a map of the entire, um, so it's got this cool like portfolio look to it, but it is the map of everywhere that you can go in your campaign. And so the cool thing about this that's kind of been described is it starts out from a place where you are very, uh, there's a kind of a set beginning to the campaign, but quickly opens up into a more non-linear story. Something that if we were putting out the packs like we used to do for Arkham Horror, you couldn't really have a non-linear unless you could buy everything all at once. But in the release model, it wouldn't really allow that something that we can do here is do something completely different like that non-linear expansion so this map is pretty awesome um, it has a real uh all the locations that you can go to. There's some hidden locations, secret things that might be unlocked during the campaign. There's also the green eye locations on here are the side story locations, which means that you can actually take your uh, 
your the side stories that we have put out, the side packs that maybe we have made, like Curse of the Rougarou or right. all these examples like that, uh, the blob that ate everything, and incorporate them as possible locations within this campaign, uh, expanding that campaign as you see fit. Um, but you'll notice on the map that there is one location in Europe. Uh, all the other green locations tie to scenario packs that you might be familiar with, but the Monte Carlo location is something that we haven't actually, that doesn't tie to anything we've ever made. So that probably means that there is another <laughs> pack coming in the very near future that is going to take place in uh, a scenario pack in Monte Carlo. And again, not really super ready to go into detail on that at this moment, but I think this kind of teases that. And in fact, I'll leave it to Maxine, if Maxine, uh, when she comes on, wants to um, give a you know any little minor nugget on that you know i'll save that for for her to do um but for now uh this is super cool the globe trotting nature is something that i mean we've been it's kind of like what we've been building towards this whole time right. and, and something we've really wanted to try for a while and i'm really glad we can pull it off and and give it to you guys coming out soon so yeah. wonderful yeah well that sounds great yeah chris thank you for being here again yeah, absolutely this it's always fun sitting next to you. It's I don't get to do it often pleasure. enough. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to roll a little video showing off some stuff, and then we'll be joined by Maxine when we get back. We'll see you All in a minute. Right, awesome. Thank you. everybody I'm back again and that's not Chris this is Maxine it's not Chris and we're so excited that Maxine is here with us <laughs> as always I'm excited too you know that I love having yes. you around oh, so, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> they love that Maxine is here too <laughs> so Chris just did a thing yes where he mentioned a location for he, something upcoming and we can't really do a lot with this right but can you give us just a little little nugget so that I don't lose my job about what's sure. coming up um, your job is fine okay okay um, yeah I guess all I can say is if you've ever wanted to participate plan and execute a daring heist in Arco you might have your chance soon. So, what if that was something that I wanted but didn't know that I wanted? What if that's something I wanted to do in real life? <laughs> <laughs> you and I should talk after the yeah, live okay, stream yeah, about after, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So, there's your nugget. You got a little <laughs> nugget, something. Nugget. But now, we are actually here to talk about one of the new investigators yes. from Scarlet Keys. Yes. So, why don't you give us a little introduction on Kaimani? Sure. So, uh, Kaimani is one of the new investigators that we have from the Scarlet Keys investigator expansion. They're absolutely new to the IP as well. This is going to be their okay. first appearance in any Arkham Files game, which is really exciting. That is. It's always it's always fun when we get to make like brand new characters. Mm -hmm. So, um, Kaimani is uh, especially cool to me because their whole backstory involves um, their security consultant, but that's their day job. By night, okay. they're actually the thief who's going out and stealing back and actually reclaiming these artifacts from like museums and collectors and bringing them back to the people who originally owned them. Um, so superhero by day, superhero by night. It's kind of a picaresque thief sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I like um, it. Situation like Leverage, like you know, mm -hmm. cool TV show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch that show. <laughs> yeah, I love that show. <laughs> So yeah. that's Kaimani. Yes. Or, I'm saying it right. Uh, Kaimani. 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 I, I say Kaimani. Okay, Kaimani. So 
That's the gist. That's the gist. But we've got some cards we're going to be showing. We're showing off this character, all of their yes. unique cards. Yes. So let's let's talk let's about in. what they do in the game. Yeah. Should I should I just dive right in? Yeah. All yeah. right. So I'm just going to read off uh, Kaimani's card. I have it here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the physical cards right, with right. us. Right. Right. But. Uh, so, Kaimani Jones, the security consultant, is a three willpower, two intellect, two combat, five agility investigator. Um, they have a criminal trait, and they have a free triggered ability to engage an exhausted enemy at your location, which is okay. weird. Why would you want to uh -huh. do that? Keep reading. <laughs> uh, reaction when you attempt to evade an exhausted non elite enemy. Uh, they can add their intellect to their skill value for this attempt, and if they succeed by at least X, where X is their remaining health, they're discarded. Just gone. Oh, wow. So you essentially okay. double evade an enemy. You, you evade them, and then you pull them back, and then you evade them again, and it's like you've lost them. They're right, gone. yeah. They're you've gone. completely escaped. Yeah, and it doesn't defeat them. It just discards them, which has some effects depending on the enemy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then they have an Elder Sign effect, uh, plus one, if there's an exhausted enemy at your location, you automatically succeed. So what's really cool about that is if you pull that during that second evasion attempt, it yeah. doesn't matter how high their health is, you just succeed. Jeez. Yeah. That sounds uh, spectacular. <laughs> yeah. And then um, flavor text, this doesn't belong to you. Right. Makes right. sense. Um, we are going to reveal the backside okay. of Kaimani Jones. So uh, I'm going to read off the backside. So they have a deck size of 30, pretty standard. Yep. Deck building options, road cards level 0 to 5, tool cards level 0 to 4. Good band, also good cards. Neutral cards level 0 to 5. Um, and then deck building requirements, they have to include their grappling hook. Agent Fletcher, who we'll see shortly. Okay. And of course, a random basic weakness. They also start the campaign with five additional bonus experience, Jeez. which is another thing that we've uh, done with a couple other investigators. Like okay. um, Parallel Roland has that, and uh, Father Mateo. Mm -hmm. um, so it just represents the fact that like this isn't kind of Jones, Jones's like first outing. Right. Yeah, right. They, this isn't their first rodeo. Right. That's the phrase. <laughs> Yeah. First outing, first yeah, rodeo. Outing. It's all the same thing. <laughs> this isn't their first re-stealing of a yeah. stolen artifact. <laughs> yes, <didn't>. exactly. <laughs> this is the real thing. But anyway, um, what's really cool about the tool access is there's a lot of cool tools outside of Rogue that mm -hmm. they would have access to. Yeah. Such as fingerprint kits, magnifying glass, like all kinds of different, a lot of seeker investigation tools, a few um, a few odds and ends from like Survivor. They, okay. can, they can carry like a lantern and a shovel, for example. Um, so that gives them a lot of flexibility. You yeah. can actually build a, a pretty clue-heavy Kaimani if you wanted to, for example. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> you you mentioned somebody. I did. Well, I mentioned an object first. Oh, you did. Yes. You did. You are correct. Yeah, so first we're going to talk start with about that. Uh, Kaimani Jones' signature asset. It's their grappling hook. Uh, very, very powerful card for Kaimani. It's three costs. It has an intellect icon, an agility icon, and a wild icon. Okay. It is, in fact, a tool. And yeah. it has uh, the following text. Actions performed using grappling hook do not provoke attacks of opportunity. That'll become important momentarily. All right. Double action. Exhaust grappling hook to take up to three different basic actions from the following list in any order. Oh, Engage, evade, investigate, or move. And if you investigate, use your agility instead of your intellect. Okay. There's Sweet. so much you can do with this <laughs> right. card. You'll be using this card almost every turn once you put it into play. Because right. yeah, well, of course. Yeah. As long as you're doing two of those things at least, you're right. going to use grappling hook. What's really cool though is there's some new cards coming in the Scarlet Keys that interact with tools. Uh, okay. At least at least uh, one that has already been spoiled. Um, so. That's cool. Nice. You got your grappling hook on your belt. <laughs> yeah. Right? I kind of want a grappling hook now. Yeah, I don't I, know how that would work at Gen Con, though. Um, there's... I think rafters. I could swing yeah, from the could, rafters. Yeah, That'd be all right. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, what's, what's cool about this is you can engage with it, so I like to think of it as, like, unlike like Oh, yeah, yeah. Pull, pull them and get over here. <laughs> yes. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. And then should we talk about uh, Kamana's weakness? We should. All we right. should. So Kaimani's weakness is very interesting because this is another new character, essentially, that we're mm -hmm. adding to the IP. This is Agent Fletcher. Agent Fletcher has the humanoid coterie and detective traits. 
what's, what you can't see from this card is essentially Agent Fletcher is an ICPC agent who's on to Kaimani's antics. Okay. He knows what's going on. He knows Kaimani's true purpose. He's also a member of the Red Coterie. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing. Um, he's alert. He's hunter. His prey is, of course, Kaimani Jones only. Of course. And while Kaimani Jones is evading Agent Fletcher, reduce their intellect value to zero. So he's kind of the foil to Kaimani's right. double evade tactic. Interesting. You're going to have to find some other way to deal with him or raise your agility really high right. to, to lose that tail. Jeez. Yeah, he's on to her. He knows. That's cool. He knows. That's cool. Yeah. He's, I mean, hunting. He's, he's also, on the hunt. He's also very creepy. I love this art. I haven't actually he, seen the art it's yet. It's very cool. I wouldn't trust that guy if I yeah. ran into a back alley or anything. <laughs> right. Ugh. So that's Very Kaimani. cool. Yeah. That's Kaimani. Kaimani, again, in the Scarlet Keys, coming out very soon. Very so, soon. Is it very, how, how soon is very soon? Well, can coming we out soon. We can't say soon. exactly when, but coming out soon. soon. We're very excited for it, and I'm sure we'll be doing more live streams oh, yeah. where we'll be playing through it. Yes. So That'll wait for that. Watch for that. Maxine, thank you, as always, for joining. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us today. We will see you again at this time tomorrow. Bye.